Hello everyone, this is the THG, aka the Skin Gamer, and welcome back to the 2024 Game Room Tour. I've been finally really anticipated, and I usually do these at the beginning of the year, but due to life, work, and other things, I have time to film a Game Room Tour. So finally, I have the time to do it, and I can't wait to show you the Game Room Tour. Some things have been rearranged, and makes just changing here and there. But some and so is still the same, just like the previous year and all that stuff is so. So I'm not going to go into detail on some things and all that stuff. Because I show you guys in the previous game room tour and all that stuff. And I show you around the, around the room and all that stuff. How to play my games and film my YouTube stuff, etc, etc. And before I get into the game room tour, be sure to check out my YouTube channel. I do two videos every other week, every other Monday every other friday on my channel so so anyway without further ado let's get into it over here we got to start with the door right here as we walk into the room there's the uh, the pokemon poster we have to walk into the door and on the front of the door if you see it it's the super mario galaxy 2 poster if you saw in my uh, previous game rooms and all that stuff so i'm not going to show you that then over here we have the uh, my new york next custom made football jersey all framed up and I custom made it like years ago on my birthday and stuff then over here this has to change right here and all that stuff this is the jersey wall right here not going into much detail into that here is the uh, the most 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 poster right here in this wall right here the Super Mario Kart and Kingdom Hearts 3 Nothing special right here. I'm not going into detail into that. This, those are stuff still the same right here in this wall right here. Then up here and other stuff, you know, all my uh, collectibles and my toys and other stuff. Then over here we have my uh, um, movie stands and other stuff from Tupac to Biggie. To Aaliyah. Then over here around my movie, my VHS and some DVDs and some TLC CDs. Then more in this glass case right here. I hear all my uh my Kobe Bryant area right here with the three uh championships from the eight era when the Kobe and Shaq era. Here is NBA 2K10. Here is the Kobe Bryant book, the Mama Mentality book, and the uh, the Mama Forever body armor drink. Then down here, there's more stuff right here. There's all my uh, TV shows, more movies, and other stuff. Nothing special right here. And here is the uh, the Dita Crazy Eight 1998 All Star Game. Um, what he wore at the All Star Game in 1998 when he first faced Michael Jordan for the first time at May Square Garden. And here is my uh. Michael Jordan area and the Mickey area right here and all that stuff and B2K11 and the uh, the 1998 three P uh, uh, championship half from the Michael Jordan era. Then over here we have this drawer right here. This is my tablet right here to do all my gameplays and my uh, flip throughs and all that other stuff. I do my YouTube stuff and stuff. Then all my uh, video game magazines, all my video game books and stuff. And here's my cartoon TV show collection and all that stuff. Even though I have streaming and all that stuff, in case I don't have internet and all that stuff, if I have my own place and all that stuff, this will save me money right here and all that stuff. There's all my uh, cartoon DVDs and TV shows and all that stuff that I grew up with from my childhood. So yeah, there is that. Then over here is my laptop and I do I do like a little bit of YouTube being here and there and all the other stuff. And then over here is my chair and there's the there's my uh, my custom t-shirts for my YouTube channel and all the other stuff. I saw in my videos. And also right here is my left fi costume from TLC that I still have for like years years ago and all that stuff. And that is yeah, the left eye hat and all that I kept throughout the years and all that stuff. So, so yeah, there is that.
And now here's the meat and the potato of the game room, which is the game shelf. So let's start with the top right here. Here's all my collectibles. Here's the NES Classic Edition. Here's the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. On top right there is my Super Mario cereal. Here is the, uh, the Sonic 2 uh, movie poster. I saw Sonic 2 in theaters. Here's the tail figure I have right here. And here is my uh, pixel pal of Sonic. And all the stuff even saw in my previous game room tour. And all the stuff is all light up and stuff. Here is my Nintendo collectibles right here. Here's the Sonic Chia pad I got from my little sister for Christmas of last year. Thank you. And here is my uh, the Sonic uh, Underground that I got from Danny's some years ago as a kid. And here is my uh, Knuckle uh, plushie right here. So yeah, there is that. And now on to the, uh, the game. So here is my short and meager e NES collection. Which I didn't grow up with the NES as a kid and all that stuff. Well, I was a Super Nintendo kid and all that stuff. I don't collect that system much anymore. And besides, I could play more games right here and all that stuff. This this cl collection right here and all that stuff. So so I didn't grow up much with the NES as a kid and all that stuff. But I, so, so, so I experienced it as an adult and all that stuff. And NES is a good good system and all that stuff. So. And like speaking of Super Nintendo right here and all that stuff, there's my Super Nintendo collection and all that stuff. Some games I have from my childhood and some games I collected over the years. Super Nintendo was got me got me started into gaming and start my video game life, start my video game journey and all that stuff. So Super Nintendo was my first first gaming console I played to start my video games journey and start my love for video games and all that stuff. So so here's my Super Nintendo collection right here. All the Donkey Kongs, Super Mario Kart, all the Mortal Kombat's, the NBA Jams, the Turtle games, the Tiny Toon games, the Mario games, Star Fox, F Zero, and Earthbound, which is a repro right here, and all that other stuff. And so, um. Which I, which it works and other works and other stuff for your like original console and other stuff, but since my uh, original Super Nintendo is really really broken and not working anymore and other stuff, I it doesn't work on the clone console what I'll show you in a minute and other stuff. So and there's so many ways to play Earthbound and other stuff because. This baby right here, the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. So I'm not gonna worry about that much. So yeah, this is my Super Nintendo uh, collection. Super Nintendo what got me into my gaming life. So yeah, there is that. Over here is my Nintendo 64 collection. You have the Essentials, the Mario, the Donkey Kong, the Smash Brothers, the Zeldas, and all of that stuff. So that this sh shelf number one right here. Shelf number two. Here is my GameCube collection. Which I collected through my childhood, collected throughout the years and all that stuff. So I have my childhood games to this day. GameCube is a lot more expensive console to collect for and all that stuff. So if you want to collect for the GameCube now, get those games now before it's so, 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 so expensive. So, so yeah, there is that. Here's the GameCube collection. And now over here is my small meager Nintendo Switch collection. Uh, not much grown, not much change and all that stuff, but it will grow with more years and years to come. But Nintendo Switch is a really, really great console and all that stuff. So, so yeah, so there is my meager Nintendo Switch collection. And then down over here, we have my Nintendo Wii. Nothing much has changed right here and all that stuff. This is my Wii collection. This is my PS1 games right here. As you can see, there's more titles right here. Then down here, I'm going to get down my knees. Here is the PS2 collection. There's the big box of Ninja Assault for the PS2. Danger around a little change in the PS2 section. 
There's my pop figures, the Spiral Pop, and my Crash Pop right here. Then down below, there's more PS2 games. And after that, we get into original Xbox and Xbox 360 games. And some of these you can't see, a little, little dark and all that stuff. And so yeah, that is the gaming shelf. So, so that gaming shelf number one, let's move on to the next side. Over here, things that uh, change around this wall right here and all that stuff. And over here, we have my uh, Michael Jordan uh, poster. You have the Kobe Bryant poster. Here's the New York Yankees um, World Championship um, picture right here. And there's the New York Yankees plays right here. And also, I'm born and raised in New York. And New York Yankees was my favorite team as a kid. And Michael Jordan this is my first player I love. This made me start playing basketball before Kobe Bryant and all her stuff. And so, so this is the uh, the sports um, area of this wall right here and all her stuff. So, so yeah, there is that. Then right over here, this is my retro area and all her stuff. And so before I get into the retro area and all her stuff, let me show you my PS3 games. Then down here, there are PS4. And two PS5 games. And that collection will be growing to come and all that stuff. So, so yeah. So now that I get out of the way. So here you show you my retro setup. I'm playing my retro gaming and all that stuff. This TV I have so a couple couple years and all that. It still works to this day. No damages and all that other stuff. And this is the best best TV I had in years and all that other stuff. And so this is a TV I have for a really 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 long time to play my games, to film my gameplays and other other stuff. So this TV works to this day and all that. I have no problems with it. And so awesome that works all these years and all that stuff. So this is my uh, big CRT TV right here and all that stuff. Then over here we have my remotes, nothing special right here. We have uh, we have the Bernie Williams bobblehead, and then my controllers right here. Then right over here in this side we have my uh, PS3, my PS3 Slim. Here's my Nintendo Wii. I guess still got for years later since 2009 and the black Xbox 360 and so yeah so the, those three right here and other stuff um I grew up with the Xbox 360 first then the Wii then PS3 later on and all this stuff and so 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 these are my uh, three uh uh seventh Jeff consoles in this in this area right here and then down over here you can see it. that is my big PS2. I still have all these years and all of that with the gun con, con gun to play Time Crisis games, all the light games on here. Then down here on the bottom, it still works all these years and all of that. That my Retron 2 that could play NES and Super Nintendo games. So leave space for like hooking up like original consoles and other stuff. And so if you don't want to save space and all this stuff, don't want to feel like hooking up your your original console and all that get the uh retron 2 for your nes and super nintendo games and all that stuff well worth the money and still working to this day have no problems and all that stuff it still works to this day and all that stuff so so yeah there is that and over here there's my child nintendo 64 and the original xbox right here so so this is the retro setup right here and all that stuff and so let's move on to the next side right here yeah over here this is all my Kobe Bryant shoes from Adidas, Converse, and Nike and all that stuff. So, so yeah, there is that. And also, these drawers right here, full with controllers and all that stuff. These two drawers right here and the third drawer, nothing special with junk and all that stuff. So, 
on top we have my monopolies right here and all that stuff this is the monopoly uh nintendo monopoly gamer nintendo edition and there's the uh, the monopoly pokemon edition then the over here some pictures not too special and all that stuff then over here this is a little little nerdy area right here and all that stuff Things haven't been changed around here and all that stuff, and I'm not going into detail into that. There's the rug rack party uh um um area. There the uh, the space jam um McDonald's uh plushies. And there's the Toy Story 2 um toys that's and all the other stuff so nothing special right here i'm not going to go into detail into that there's my lamp right here and this right here and all this stuff I, this right here and all this stuff i finally got a uh, ps5 i'm not going to go explain into that so if you want to explain more detail into this about talk about me talk about the ps5 respect in my impressions and all that stuff be sure to check it out on my channel then over here i got my original ps4 that i still have to this day even though you can play play ps4 games on my ps5 i like to keep it original just in case and all that stuff so so yeah that's my original ps4 and then right here is my nintendo switch and then over here there's the mirror that's special right here then over here we have some pictures of the city of new york and the collage that i made from my um, new york teams and all that stuff and that is the uh, the ticket from the New York Ranger game of someone who went to Ranger game in 2008. That's memorabilia and memory piece of history right here and all that stuff. So, so yeah, there is that. Then over here is my closet full of clothes and all that stuff. Nothing special right here. Then over here we have my uh, Mortal, my Mortal Kombat cards and my Street Fighter 2 Championship arcade marquee from 1992. Classic right here and all that stuff. It's seen a lot, lot as a kid and all that stuff. And so that's fun. I have a happy piece in the game room and all that stuff. Then over here, there's my Street Fire cards and all that stuff. Then right here is my uh, Road Runner um, um, Jeff Hamilton jacket from 1992 when I met uh, Jeff Hamilton during Super Bowl weekend throughout the past year and all that stuff. So yeah, there is that. And last but certainly last but not least, to end off the game tour, here is my anime and manga shelf right here and all this stuff. So here is the uh, the Naruto uh shelf right here, the TV show, the movies, the manga, the books, everything, the video games, and a lot of stuff. And over here we have my manga shelf right here from the original and Shippuden. Along with um, the Naruto plush I got with my ex that I got with my ex my years ago. Here's uh, the, uh, the Sasuke uh, figurine. Here's the Naruto Shippuden plush I got with my aunt. And I got the Naruto figurine right here. So yeah, that is the Naruto shelf right here. Now go, let's go on to the bottom right here. Here's the rest of the manga that I collected throughout the years and all that other stuff. From Bleach, Dragon Ball Z, Hakari no Go, Fullmetal Alchemist, One Piece, etc. etc. And there's the Luffy um uh, one piece of figurine I got when I went to book off when I went to Long Beach, like almost like two years now, and all that stuff. And here is the uh, the silver Goku figurine I got from Burger King like years years ago as a kid. I still kept that around. Then here is the uh, the Dragon Ball C uh, energy drinks, and all that I got from my little sister. Thank you again. Thank you so much to my little sister and stuff. Here is the other one right here. And the uh, this next one right here, which energy drink for animes is not that great and all that stuff, but displaying in your game room, game room and all that stuff, make it look pop and all that stuff. So, so yeah, there is that. Then over here you have my uh, anime uh, uh TV shows on DVD in the background from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, 
Dragon Ball GT, uh, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, One Piece, etc., etc. Then here's my pop figures from Dragon Ball, from Dragon Ball Z and Yu-Gi-Oh right here. Here is my uh, Charmander plush that I got from my uh, 18th birthday or I got from David Buster's like year, years back. Then over here is my uh, Pokemon plush. I mean, not my Pokemon plush, my Pikachu plush. I got for my birthday like year, years ago on my 18th birthday as well back in like 2012 and all that other stuff. Then over here, we have my three Egyptian drop card cards from Yu-Gi-Oh! And this uh, new uh, Pokemon coin right here. So yeah, there is that. Before we get into here and all that other stuff, I'm going to want to show you guys the what, what under here and all that stuff. There is my VHS player, they will still work to this day. And there's my Wii U and all that stuff. And finally, to end it off right here and all that stuff, there is my uh, Wii U games and my DS games and my 3DS games and all that stuff. This red case right here is my is my red 2DS right here. Um, this is my uh, Nintendo Switch case. Which is the Super Mario Odyssey one. And here's my childhood uh, Game Boy uh, uh, systems right here. This is my uh, childhood uh, green Game Boy Color. That I still have from 1999 and all that stuff. Still works and all that other stuff. But I don't play this one much anymore and all that other stuff. Because I have, still have my childhood Game Boy SP. So which I still have my childhood uh, Game Boy Advance game from my childhood and all that other stuff. Like from Pokemon Fire Red, Seldom Managed Cap, and Mario Kart Super Circuit. Those are my uh, three uh, childhood uh, Game Boy fans games right here. And then this tin right here is all my uh, my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, cards and all that stuff from 2004 and all that stuff right here. My uh, my uh, Yugi and Kaiba starter evolution decks I got from like Toys R Us back in 2004. And it's so glad I kept these around all these years and all that stuff because those things cost a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money now. Then right here, some more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This deck from the GX era. Uh, my Pokemon books. My drawings. Um, my Shonen Jump magazines and all that other stuff. And here's my uh, Pokemon cards and my Yu-Gi-Oh cards right here. And this binding right here is collected through my high school years. Um, some other books right here and all that stuff. I don't feel like moving. And then lastly right here is my, um, Game Boy and Game Boy Fan games I got through my childhood and all that other stuff in this Pokemon train card bin right here. So yeah, there is that. So that is it for the 2024 Game Room Tour. I hope you guys enjoy it. And tell me in the comment below what's your favorite favorite part of the game room tell me in comments what is specific deep of what i got in the game room and all the other stuff is so so make sure to comment like and subscribe if you want to follow from my upcoming videos check out my facebook fan page the new facebook fan page is going to be a link in the description down below and i'll see y'all next time with another video thank you very much and goodbye